everybody. Time for me to finally go in and change these things out. They still have a little bit of tread on them. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, I still need to go change them out. And that's really what I'm about to go do now. I wish I could just finish them all off right now. I mean, I can, but nah, I'm not going to do that. Cold start. out this new mount of mine that I bought hopefully hopefully I fix the shaking problem but if not then at least I hope I, I hope it's a little better at least So these are the ones I went with the Sumitomo what are the HTR Z3? Yeah, HTR Z3. And they're pretty big and here's the hardest part trying to get them in this little car of mine. So let me get that started. think these tires were gonna fit just because how wide they are I mean look at this look at this I believe that's a rear tire but it's still real wide I got two back here and one in the trunk so hey I made it happen but now I'm about to head to my homeboy shop uh, and he's gonna put these tires on for me so I guess I'll talk to you later whenever I leave there All right, so I made it back from getting my tires changed. And look at the tread difference on these. I like them. 
Um, I went with 10 millimeters smaller just because I don't know why, but the sidewall on the other ones, they kind of protruded a little bit, but these are quite nice. I like the way these are, they're flush. It's not a major difference, but it is a difference and you can tell. But it does look like the car sits a little different. Like it sits a little bit higher, I guess, or the wheel gap is a little bit more. I don't know if you can see it from this angle, but that's how it is. And now we're over here about to work on this thing. He's trying to make this a little mini monster. <laughs> little Josh. He got these pullers we're trying to put on. I believe this is the crank puller. Don't quote me on that because I don't know too much about what he bought. And then, oh, what is what is this puller? What is this? Is this for like the alternator or the water pump? I don't know. I really don't know. But let me know in the comment section if you know what puller this is. We're going to change it out anyways, but I don't know the name of it. All right, y'all, false alarm. Couldn't really do anything just because I forgot about the crankshaft pulley. We're gonna need an air drill for that, and we don't have an air drill. I was gonna try to do it my impact drill, but I didn't bring the impact with me, and I forgot that too. So, false alarm, sorry, you guys. The muffler's chopped off. I don't know if you remember, but I did do an install video. Check out, check out the card at the top right. Or how it used to sound before the mufflers got chopped off. Look, crap. Look, cracker. I like that sound of a V6. <laughs> Three days later. What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for you guys. And today I'm gonna be doing a little bit of an install video. Um, if you haven't known, I've been having problems with my AC for the past, well, since I got my car. So now, I believe if you look in here on the Terminator Cobra, I believe that's what I'm changing out, the AC condenser. If not that, then it's this one. But I do believe that this is the radiator. And I believe this is what I'm actually changing out. So let me hop right on to that. This big old box in my passenger seat. Now, so it's time for me to open this box. My new knife, like my knife, I like it. You don't have to. I wonder if it's the right thing. Okay, so as you can see, this is what the new con condenser looks like. Um, I hope this is the right one. I believe I ordered it off of rockauto.com. You can check them out. Last time I ordered some from them, it was a pretty quality product. And this looks as if it's pretty quality and pretty rigid. I mean, I like it the way it looks anyways. And it's black. This one, I believe it was black at one point, but I don't know. Well, let me go ahead and get this bumper off so I can go ahead and install this. Alright, so I finally got my bumper off after a lot of trials and tribulations, but this is what gave me problems. It didn't really give me problems, but I had to figure it out. This is on the inside of, you see which part I'm on? This is on the inside of this. You had to go through the wheel well right here, like right here, and then there were two 
11 millimeter bolts that you had to undo and you had to use a deep socket for those as you can see but after i got that it came right on off after i unplugged the lights the fog lights on each side and then it came right on off but now i'm about to let me get this off here this thing is so ugly well that's not what i'm taking off well i guess i gotta keep going to this one all right so now that i've taken everything off of the front of the car i just realized i can't even get to it from right here oh well at least i know how to put it all back together but i did see let me try to zoom in for you guys i think this may be the root cause of my ac issue i don't know if you can tell but it looks like a lot of buildup right here dirt and probably the leak that i have in my system yeah it doesn't look good and this is the new one from rock auto it has nothing on it as you can tell but i don't know i just hope it fits i hope it fits right hope this is the right piece it says it is the right piece but you never know now i'm just gonna take off this this and it should open up some room, free up some room for me to see at least, to see what I'm working with, see what I'm gonna do. But I won't know until I do it. And now that I'm finally showing you guys under the engine bay again, I promise y'all I'm gonna clean it up. Look at this, it's all dirty and filthy and stuff, but I just wanted to do this before I cleaned it up because I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it up for you guys, just don't worry. What's up everybody? If you don't know, this video was supposed to be two separate videos and I'm sorry if the videos were kind of choppy and not as professional as they should have been. I just wanted to start out by saying that I have been on a pretty bumpy ride, a roller coaster if you may be, for these past few days or about a few weeks or so. Um, I promise you guys the content is going to get way better than it is. Just to be honest with you, I've, I'm in the process of moving and, and some things in my personal life have been stressing me out. I don't try to get that on a video or anything, but I'm pretty sure we all know that everybody goes through trials and tribulations and everybody has downfalls. Everybody has all these things that make you not feel as great as you should. Things that basically try to attack your self-esteem, but one of these days... I'm going to need to get my own garage. The first video unfortunately ended whenever I was about to start helping my little cousin put on his pulleys. And that didn't turn out great. It didn't turn out as expected. And we ended up actually trying to just, you know, work on a few other things that he has in mind. And he's bought something else that's probably pretty big to him and probably pretty big to some of you guys on the channel i will get it on video for you guys and the second video was just tragic i took all my freon out of my car so now i have no ac i'm running around with no bumper on my car because i ordered the wrong condenser sorry about that i personally ordered the wrong condenser off of rock auto but rock auto you do need to change because i put in like my exact category and exact information on my car and you only brought up one condenser and so i didn't think anything of it i thought that was the only one you had which it was but it wasn't for my car it was actually for the 97 98 cobra i believe it said and i didn't think to look at the part number or the skew or anything like that so i would blame myself for that but i did place an order for the new condenser and i will have air soon as soon as it comes in i think it's gonna come in like in two or three days or so so stay tuned for that and i didn't mean for this to get all long and drawn out or whatever so i'm just gonna end the video right here i'm sorry i had to have this talk with you guys because like i'm pretty bummed out and i mean times are gonna get better like i said but i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go so Always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. Thank y'all for watching. <laughs>